Hello, my name is Joel Christ. I'm a developer with iSoftstone, and today I'm going to be doing a walk through the process of creating auto filtered tables in Excel 2007. Today I'm going to be using Microsoft Visual Studio 2008 to create a Windows console application that will use the Excel 2007 primary interop assembly to add auto filtering to a column in a table in an existing Excel workbook. So I've got my auto filter sample workbook that exists in my temp folder and if I open it in Excel we can take a look at it and see that it contains a single worksheet named quarterly sales which has a table in it named sales data that has three columns salesperson region and sales amount and what we're going to do now is we're going to create a console application that will open this workbook and add auto filtering to the sales amount column so that the table will only display records whose sales amount value is greater than a certain number so I'm going to go ahead and close Excel down here. And in Microsoft Visual Studio now, I'm going to choose to create a new project. I'm going to do it in C Sharp. It's going to be a Windows console application. And I'm going to name it Excel Auto Filter. And so now Visual Studio has created the solution for us. So the first thing I'm going to do in Visual Studio is to add a reference to the Excel 2007 primary interop assembly. So over in Solution Explorer, I'm going to right click on References and choose to add a reference. And in the Add Reference dialog box, I'm going to scroll down until I see Microsoft Office Interop Excel. Choose the 2007 version and say OK. And Visual Studio then adds the reference to the assembly for us. I'm going to add a using statement to make it easier to work with the classes and objects and types in the namespace, in the Office Interop Excel namespace. And I'm going to add some code to the main method here that will open the workbook and add auto filtering to that column in the table that we looked at. So let's take a look at what this code is doing now. So the first thing the code does is declare some variables to hold references to the Excel objects we're going to be working with. Um, declare some variables for the workbook name, the worksheet name, and the range name, which we see sales data that we saw earlier scoped to the quarterly sales worksheet. And then the code comes along and it creates an instance of Microsoft Excel, and then it uses that instance to open our existing workbook. Um, once it has the workbook open, it gets the worksheet that contains the data that we want to filter on. So we go look for, based on our worksheet name um, of quarterly sales, we go grab that worksheet. And then we go get the range that we defined, or that we know is defined in that worksheet using the range name variable here. And that gets us back our, our table. And then we go ahead and set a filter on the third column the sales amount column to display values that are greater than 500. So we use the auto filter method here on the table specify which column, third column, and then we specify our filter expression, which is greater than 500. Um, and then that'll go ahead and set that filtering on that column for us, and then we save the changes out to the workbook. Okay, so let's go ahead now and press F5 to build and run our console application it just ran. Um, so it should have now updated our existing workbook looks like it did so if I go ahead and open that up now we again see our quarterly sales worksheet with our table and we now notice that it has filtering though set on the sales amount column and the filter expression is set to greater than 500 and we notice also that we're not seeing all of the data we're only seeing records whose sale amount column has a value that's greater than 500 and we can come in here and if we look at the filter that was set up we see it's exactly what we did in our code so I'll be using Microsoft Visual Studio 2008 and the Excel 2007 primary interop assembly. It was pretty easy for us to create a Windows console application that opened an existing workbook and then made use of the range.autofilter method to add auto filtering capabilities to a column in a table.